Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. It's still a lot of money. Oh, that's so much money. Why are they spending so much money? Oh, that is a lot of money. That's a real lot of money. I can't believe they're spending that much money. That's just all money. That's my money. Hey, oh, they're spending so much money. Look at all this. It's just going so much. I can't believe it's so much. It's just a ton of I can't believe it. Well, folks, you've just seen a bunch of amazing Olympians and Ray Gun. Anyway, we now know the Olympics are on in Brisbane. We've got seven years to build it. The site's going to be here. I thought tonight we'd have a look at the geology of the site, where it is, how much dirt they've got to dig out, and how the hell they're going to do this in seven years. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, I think what's going to happen to this site is it's going to have to start looking like this real soon. But anyway, if you dig the vibe, like and subscribe. And you know what I'm going to say. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Well, Geo Nerds, here we are just flying in over the city, heading over Spring Hill towards Victoria Park, which is, of course, where we're going to be having our Olympic venue. Apologise for my voice. I'm just getting over a cold. I might fix it up a bit, but I can't do much with it. So that hollow you see there in front of the, the uh, driving range is where the venue is going. There's the inner city bypass there. Uh, you can see the hockey venue over the back, uh, which is uh, an awesome place for the the uh, kelvin grove uh, school and uh, training college etc you just see the uh, royal brisbane hospital coming through there on the uh, bottom right and uh, as you can see it's a nice area victoria park's lovely especially they kick the stupid golfers out i tolerate people with driving ranges and the icb runs right through there they're, they're going to plonk this venue right down in that little pocket there and you've oh, you've already seen some photos but you will see more and uh and i think it's a great spot for it don't get me wrong it's a great venue the problem i have is this is fairly three-dimensional when you get in here you'll see these ridges and valleys they're 20 30 meters deep uh which means that's rock and that's a lot of rock has to be removed to build a structure on top of that and i very much doubt if they're going to uh you know neatly settle it in the land they're going to blow this away it's the grammar school there we'll just spin around and uh, give you a bit of a look at where it is the old main roads buildings for those who remember that those days it's now called the Johnson. Ridiculous. Oh look, there's St James's at Gregory Terrace. Oh right opposite the new aquatic centre. What a coincidence. So yeah, there we are. It's going just in there and uh, it's going to be an amazing structure for sure. So folks, here's a split view of the site. One is a impression. 
the other ones are planned. So we've got some landmarks. We can put some lines on here. From the looking at the artist impression, we can see the outer boundaries. Gilcrest Avenue, you can see that in the image and whatever. So it's going to fit in here because that's what it says it does. Now, you know, that's still a really big hole. Uh, that's about 350 metres round. So that's how big this thing might be if that artist impression is correct. So that's a very impressive structure. It really is. I really look forward to seeing them building it while I'm stuck in traffic on the ICB because their stupid trucks keep coming and going. We'll get to that. So let's have a look at the rock, what we're in and how much of this stuff we've got to move because there is quite a bit of it. Okay, 3D geology fly through, folks. There's the ICB, the yellow stripe with the uh, Cross River Rail lines and the roads on there. The purple is the Narrenly Fernvale Shale. The, um, the green is Brisbane Tooth. So this entire project takes place in the Narrenly Fernvale Shale groups. And the fact that they are ridges there and ridging up towards the hospital is much higher ground. This is harder rock. That yellow is gravels. Now, some of that has been put there, but a lot of it is not. It's part of the whole uh, York's Hollow uh, Barren Bin Creek complex, and it's been there a very long time. But you can see those ridges in the middle there. Uh, they've got to go. That middle ridge has completely got to go. Now, they do a little bit of, you know, knock the top off and fill in the valleys, but that's not going to happen here. Well, I don't know. That is an artist impression that we've seen. It's not an engineering diagram. But uh, that's still a lot of rock, and it's hard rock, I assure you. Uh, just another quick fly through with the, this time with just the uh, 3D topology and the satellite wrapped onto it. But as you can see, those ridges are substantial, and uh, there's a lot of dirt to remove there. And uh, access to that site, oh man, I don't know. I don't know. The ICB, are they going to use a tunnel with a conveyor in it? Are they going to have a deposit, uh, a, you know, a depository somewhere to put this rock while they move it away slowly at night when it's not going to wreck the place? All these have been done when they dug the tunnel on the north side, but ooh, seven years, got to start soon. Now, folks, I know I'm focusing on the Victoria Park complex because it's a key piece. This is the stadium. This is where it's going to happen. By the way, you notice there's a set of Aussie Rules uh, goalposts in the back of that. Mm, nice Easter egg. Anyway, uh, I think it looks lovely. This is the aquatic centre over at the Centenary Pool. Or it's be known as St James's New Swimming Pool, probably. Anyway, they got a tunnel under the road, those kids too. Awesome. Don't have to get stuck in the road. So, if all you're interested in was the geology of the site... Now would be a good time to turn off because now I'm going to tell you what I think of this project and some of the absolutely eye-watering shit nanigans that are going to go on here. So, I warn you. So, folks, first of all, let's just do a rough rule of thumb of the logistics of digging the foundations for this place. So let's presume this venue is about 350 metres in diameter, and I'm being generous. And we need to dig the foundation about five metres down to get the ancillary services, I'll say car parks, but it's not a car park, you know what I mean. Stuff, foundations, and the tops of the ridges, you know, you got, and we've got to top off the ridges on the site, as you've seen with the 3D fly-ins. And if we give those river ridges an average height of about four and a half metres, and I'm also being very generous there, some of them are a lot higher than that, it means we'll have to remove a cylinder of hard Brisbane shale. That's 350 metres by 4.5 metres. That's 151,000 cubic metres of pretty hard rock. Uh, I doubt if you'd quarry this rock using breakers, you're going to have to blast it at some stage. Just next to the hospital, but anyway. 
So <laughs> it, it just gets dumb. Um, I think you probably know what a tipper and dog is. It's just a, a tip truck that tows a trailer. They call the trailer a dog. Now, the average tipper and dog around town that you can manoeuvre around town holds about 19 cubic metres of rock. Now, let's say holes cubic metres of rock. If you dig 19 cubic metres of rock out of the ground, it doesn't turn into 19 cubic metres of haulage because it bulks up. It fits really well in the ground. When you break it up, it doesn't. And that can go up by a third or so. So, 151,000 divided by 19 metres, cubic metres, is 7,947 truckloads of rock going to come out of this site at some stage. So, of course, there's a few questions. We're geonodes here. We're not geologists. We've only got questions. We don't have answers. First question, we'll go over the how, where and when. How are they going to enter and leave the ICB? How are they going to get the rock out of there? Where? Where the hell are they going to take it? Now, a lot of some of this can be used for, for aggregate, can be used for building materials. There's no question of that, but used where? And when? How long will this take? If we turn a truck around every 10 minutes for 24 hours a day, it'll take 55 days, 4 hours and 30 minutes. And if we bulk the stuff up by a third, you could add another 20 days onto that. It's just eye-wateringly an amazing project, and I want to see it happen. But they should start, I think. Just, they should start. Again, questions. I don't have any answers on the logistics of this. We haven't even talked about pouring the concrete, getting the concrete into the site, all the logistics, all the trades. If you ever want to have a good laugh, have a read of the 100-day report that they paid. Goodness knows how much to have written. It's free. You can get it down off the internet. And read the absolute dribble in the back of it about how they're going to train thousands of apprentices to make up the shortfall in trades. What? What? Anyway, I don't know. Did anyone read this stuff? I don't think anyone does. That's the problem. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. So that's the end of my little rant on the logistics of digging the hole. That's all I know. And remember that artist's impression we're doing all this off is rough. Uh, and my numbers will be very rough, but I don't think they'll be too far out of the ball game. I really don't. Because it's got a whole 65,000 people and all the services, all the food, all of the catering, all that stuff. It's got to hold all of this. And if you look at Gilchrist Avenue on that map, it's a pretty good indicator of exactly where it's all going to be. So I suppose um, I'm now going to talk about the Olympics themselves. And I have absolutely nothing against the Olympics as such. Um, if a bunch of uh, athletes want to run around and see who can run the fastest and throw the fastest, more power to them. But I do have a problem when they've now decided to spend $7 billion, and we all know that's a fantasy. Um, it's probably put a one in front of it at least. I've said this before. Um, the Australian government's coughing up $3.45 billion. I suspect they're going to cough up a little more than that. The Queensland government's going to cough up a few billion and there's going to be private enterprise. Oh, yeah. I wonder which bits they'll invest in. It wouldn't be the uh, Oly the Olympic Village that they can sell off for, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars afterwards. So, you know, no good on them. But there's a few small issues here. Um, the budget venue, $7 billion. Pig's ass. We know it's going to be like $17 billion, as I said. Most of these guys couldn't run a school tuck shop at a profit, let alone a project at this size. It all gets delusional if we accept seven billion for now because we've got something to work with. Now, where could we put this seven billion where it would do more good than be used for 20 days? 10 days for the Olympics and 10 more days for the Paralympics. Well, you know, I'm sure you can all think of some way you could do better work with it. But let's just do a little numbers. So this thing will use seven billion because, hey, that's what they've told us. So seven billion dollars, and it's a 20-day project. Yeah, they're going to get some money back. They're hardly going to sell Victoria Park Stadium, so they're not going to get much back, but they're going to get some money back for when they sell off bits and pieces. We'll give them that. But I'm using seven billion. We'll forget about the 10 billion they're going to cock up on. Now, 20 days. So at, 
<laughs> um, 28,000 minutes. These facilities will be used for what they were intended for. Now, I don't want to blow your mind here, but that's $243,055 a minute. A minute this is costing. So there we go. We'll recover some of those costs. It won't be all that. It's still going to be an eye-watering amount of money to spend on a mega jockstrap show, really. And the really bad news is that that $7 billion doesn't include the running costs doesn't include the price of the medals and the volunteers and the people. They all get paid. The volunteers, they get paid, but they get uniforms, all that stuff. And we know if that doesn't blow out, if that doesn't blow out to $50,000 a minute, I'll be surprised. That sounds bad when you say it that way, but that's the logistics of it. Two hundred, sorry, $500,000 a minute. $243,055 a minute for 20 days. Scary stuff. Now, I suppose we've all been thinking, wow, oh, gee, what could we do with that money? Well, I tell you what we could do with it. We could build some houses for our young people. That would build probably 25,000 modest townhouses. And you could just give them away for free to young families. Here you go, have a house, have a nice day. Pay rates, you know, pay taxes, we'll get some money back. No, we can't do that. Oh, no, 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 you can't mess with the supply of housing in Australia. No, 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 you can't do that. The people own three or four houses, all, the, all of their investments, investments will go up the, up the tubes. I think you hear where I'm going on this, but anyway, that's my 20 cents worth. It's not going to affect me whatsoever. Uh, I will watch the games. I will not go to the games because I wouldn't go if they were on in my backyard. But, you know, it'll be such fun to watch. Uh, I, I, these, I guarantee you, these politicians will find ways to cock this up that we haven't even thought of yet. And it's going to be such fun. It really is. So anyway, Geo Nerds, sorry about the little political rant at the end here, but you know, we're all human beings. We have opinions. We have feelings. And I like to put them down with numbers because I like numbers. They're cool. So you know what I'm going to say. If you dig the vibe, like and subscribe. If you're still here anyway. And I, I want, want you to keep rocking. Because t Rox, with his best Barry White, White voice, voice, can't get, get enough of your love, baby, baby. is out. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Great Scott! My hair! My hair! It may be the key to the whole plan, get in? Got it. Good.